My name is Elliot Ruggles and we're going to talk about safety when cutting and grinding in a welding shop. The importance of grinding safety, your health, others health, and being an asset not a liability. Your health is obviously the most important when you're in a welding shop and you got to look out for others when uh, you're welding around others and grinding around others. <clears throat> Cutting is really dangerous so when you're um, around other people you might inform them that you're cutting. You're going to throw a lot of sparks. Being an asset, not a liability. <clears throat> this is a big thing for the company. They don't want to have money invested into you from you getting hurt. So you got to come in um, really thinking about safety and when you're cutting and grinding. <clears throat> safety when cutting and grinding. Safety precautions. PPE equipment. Knowing your work area, visual inspection. PPE is what you wear every day in the welding shop. And that's obviously very important. So you don't catch on fire and you don't get hurt. Uh, equipment, it's just knowing your equipment. Um, knowing your work area. This is really important so you can know your surroundings and know hazards that are around you. Everything, something you could trip on, something like that. Visual inspection, whenever you're working with equipment, know what you're working with and check it out before you use it. <clears throat> Personal protective equipment, PPE. Eye protection, huge one. You don't want to go home blind. Steel toe boots, obviously, you want to walk home on your own two feet. Uh, hearing protection, you want to be able to hear your wife screaming at you in 10 years, you know, stuff like that. Fire resistant clothes, that's huge. You don't want to catch on fire and go to the ER, something like that. <clears throat> but obviously this is not what you want to be doing with the PPE thing. Like, I mean, he's got a face shield on, but it doesn't really work. Uh, so when you're cutting and grinding, you want two forms of eye protection. That's safety glasses and then a cutting shield. Uh, steel toe boots, some uh, shops, they only allow steel toe and then some allow composite. Um, hearing protection, uh, there's all types of hearing protection and your company should provide that. <clears throat> yeah. uh, okay, equipment. There is all types of grinders and uh, cutting wheels and sanding discs and different things you need to be able to know what you're working with. And things change in a welding shop. They move to different cutting wheels and different uh, sanding discs and stuff like that. So you got to know what you're working with. Ask questions to your supervisor. Knowing how to use the equipment is vital to keeping your you safe in a welding shop. This is so true. New equipment. Um, obviously, there's a they're pretty simple. Grinders are pretty simple, but there's a lot of components to a grinder, and they're different on every one of them. So you just got to stay familiar with one you're using. Old equipment, obviously grinders get old and they break. And um, with like old cutting discs, you don't want to be cutting with old cutting discs because they'll break and actually throw the cutting wheel around the shop. So knowing your work area. This is a big one when you're in a tight shop and there's a lot of people around. Knowing where your sparks are going is huge. You don't want to be throwing sparks at your neighbor down the road, you know. <laughs> Knowing where flammables are located. So you got your toolbox over there with tons of papers. You don't want to be throwing uh, sparks into your tool toolbox or your neighbor's toolbox. So just keep the sparks away from your oh, co-workers. Visual inspection. Okay, this should happen every time you go in the shop and even maybe twice a day when you come in, you might have accidentally clipped your cord and that, uh, you're not supposed to work with that. So <laughs> don't do that. And checking your grinding wheels is always good and you can never do that enough because they're really dangerous when they're um, brittle. So obviously this is what I was... Um, Complete safety comes from doing all these things together. If you just do one of these things, you're not going to be safe in the shop. So 
you have to have all these things together to be um, safe and not be a liability in the shop, like I was talking about earlier. So just keep all these things in mind when you're working in a welding shop and you'll be grinding and cutting safe. Thanks.